evening, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and I welcome all of you back to another rage video where tonight, ladies and gentlemen, to cap off tonight's experience, song number six, we are on the homeward stretch for Metallica's Ride the Lightning, and it's been... I know, I'm going to get to my first, honest feelings when we get to the end of The Call of Cthulhu, and to be honest, I think we should just get started. So, let's do it. If you guys want to check out the original video for yourselves, links will all be in the description down below. Let's begin. Escape in three, two, one, and...
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was Escape by Metallica. Um, interesting, uh, curious thing I never found out is that apparently this is James Hetfield's most hated song that he wrote. And, well, I don't think it's the it's the one he wrote. This is what, I think this is like the worst uh, single, worst Metallica song there, out there, according to, well, according to him, but... We'll, we'll see about that. There are going to be some genuine stinkers coming up. However, um, I do kind of agree with James because the whole point of why this song was even released in the first place is because the studio uh, just literally just told them, you put something out there that's actually more radio friendly. And that's it. And th this so and to be honest, this song does reflect the attitude. It feels incredibly forced. I mean, you don't really. You, I, I, do, you, I think we're we're almost skimming on you know creative bankruptcy when you say life's for my own to live my own way at least twelve times in the song. That's like really, really pushing it. And you can even hear like Hetfield wasn't even particularly. He didn't sound overtly enthusiastic about it. The lyrics are pretty much what you might you would expect something like Rush to write about. But then again, Rush are absolute nuances in doing stuff like personal freedoms, uh, freedom of speech, and all the rest of it. In fact, uh, they're 84. In fact, I don't think it was 84, but rather 82. Okay, because 84 was Grace Under Pressure, 82 was Signals. And there are a lot of songs on Signals that are a lot about uh, personal freedoms, uh, a lot about being true to who you are. Uh, Grace Under Pressure is what I almost famously call the uh, the uh, the band if it was uh, the the album if it was directed by Clint Eastwood because there are a lot of very not very friendly or nice things to say about it. In fact, again, Rush, if you want to go one step further, Spirit of the Radio was based on the fact that there was really only one radio station that would actually play Rush songs because people didn't find them popular at the time. Bizarrely enough. But not that Metallica needed to be played on the radio all that much to be popular. Those who knew who they were would just go out and listen to them. And again, you could give them credit saying that this is nine. This was 1984, and you know, outside of like cassettes or sending pe pe sending faxes uh, to people. But then again, faxes would pretty much like the uh, f basic basically the AOL in its instant messenger of the day uh, of its day. So really, getting some exposure, getting something out there on the radio would have been quite a good bonus, just so people knew who they were. But just for the sake of doing that, this just feels like filler. And I don't really have a lot more to say about it. Is that, um, is that it? Ta it's sandwiched right between "Trapped Under Ice" and "Creeping Death," both songs which are way more interesting than James Hetfield could ever make this sound. I mean, to be and uh, or, uh, to be fair to him, if he's not interested in it, then why should I? And musically, it's a strange little ma mashup between uh, "Seek and Destroy" and "Fate of Black." So even musically, this song sounds like they just run out of ideas and they just wanted to put them together just so it would please uh, their record label. That's like. The only real reason I can say to that. So let's give Escape exactly what it deserves and just leave it in the dust. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this reaction video to Escape by Metallica. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below and about you guys thought of Escape for yourselves. And trust me, I get it. I get what it's trying to do pretty easily but there are way better songs that are, are, are done like this this guy almost sounds like he's just like in denial about who he is when you have lines like i don't care now because i'm on my own side or feel the feel no pain but my life ain't easy i know i'm my best friend if this was like developed any further that might have been a lot more compelling but on the level of with, with everything that's come before this is like the first just meh song to be honest and i will look forward to all of you guys again in the next video take care and bye bye for now